lot of you taking your time to sit down. It's very, it's exciting in here. You get so excited and I send it back to you and I say it every single day. You give me that love, you send it this way and I, and I say, I want you to take that and I, and I, I that's why I say back at you because I want you to put it in your purse and, uh, <laughs> sir, and take it home. <laughs> All of you. I've been thinking about giving a lot. I think it's very, it doesn't feel good to give. It feels very nice. It always makes me feel good when I give. And there are some people who say they give, but they don't expect anything in return. And I call those people liars. <laughs> Uh, and then there's people who give, but they, they really don't need anything in return, but they just want you to notice that they have given. Like the people at Starbucks when there's a tip jar there, and instead of just putting something in it, they wait to make sure the person sees them and throws it in there, you know? Real hard, the change bounces almost. I'm not one of those people who gives and needs people to notice. Which reminds me, I'm going to be giving my time and talent on Idol Gives Back April 21st on Fox. So please, please be sure to watch. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm very grateful. I was raised right. My mama raised me right, uh, and I know it's good etiquette to bring something when you go to someone's house. Uh, but my question is, how long does that go on? Because what if you go to someone's house all the time? What if you go, you know, you have to bring... Let, let, let's say you've been there a million times. That's it, it's going to cost you. You kind of don't... You don't want to have friends like that after a while. Because, like, the first time you go, you bring a bottle of wine, and then the second time, you, maybe you bring flowers. But then, really, do you keep topping it? Does it does the gift go down in value, or does it do you does it go up? Like, hi, Carol. Here's an above the ground pool. You know, do you? <laughs> Actually, for a while, I had someone who would come by almost every day at my house, and every time she showed up, she would bring something. And I was like, seriously, you don't have to bring me something every time you come. And she was like, I do. I'm your mail lady. <laughs> and so that was my mistake. But. Um, <laughs> Some people bring the same thing every time they come over and you have to pretend like you're surprised, like, oh, wonderful, another vanilla scented candle. That's... <laughs> and after about 30 candles, you realize they either bought a case real, real cheap or they're trying to give you a hint to change your litter box. One of the two. <laughs> and then there's people who don't bring anything at all. And there are people that, like, I go to their house and I bring something, but then when they come to my house, they don't bring me anything. So I have a solution for people like that. When I go to their house, I take something. <laughs> Because I feel like it's fair. It's like, I give you a bottle of wine, I take your microwave. <laughs> I give you a bun cake, I take your car. <laughs> it's yin and yang, like that.